Hi, welcome to The Running Channel. I'm Andy. And I'm Anna. And today we're going to be taking you through a home workout that you can do anywhere at all to help you build strength and ultimately be less injury prone as a runner. Okay, so the truth is that nearly every body weight exercise that you're going to do is going to be beneficial for runners. This follow along video will see Anna and I take you through a home workout that you can do even if your space is limited and doesn't need any special equipment. First up though, if you are new around here, welcome along. Please do subscribe and tap that bell icon so you get notified when we upload new videos all about running, which we do every single week. First up, and really importantly, it's the warm up. The point here is to gradually increase your heart rate through a series of different dynamic movements so when we get to the real hard work, we're ready to go. We're gonna do each movement for 30 seconds for a total of five minutes for this warm up. And the first exercise is walking high knees. Walking high knees. Stand tall with your arms at your side and feet shoulder width apart. Raise your right knee towards your chest as high as you can and drive the opposite arm. Repeat with left knee and right arm, alternating back and forth like you're walking on the spot. 10 seconds left. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Over to Anna for the next exercise. Right, into some backward lunges next. Stand tall with your feet hip distance apart and take a large step back. Lower your body towards the floor. Now both legs should be bent at a 90 degree angle at the bottom of the lunge. Rise back to start and repeat on the opposite side. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, Two, one. Running on the spot. We are the running channel, so of course we've got a bit of running for you. Focus on good form here and drive your arms as well as your legs. Stay up nice and tall. We'll get to high knees in a bit. So for now, just focus on running. Ten seconds left. Five, four. Three, two, one. Right, stand with your arms by your side and your feet hip width apart. Jump off the ground and spread your legs so your feet land wider than shoulder width apart. Simultaneously taking your hands above your head. I'm going to clap on this one. You can do that too if you want. And as soon as you land, go into another jump. You've got 10 seconds left. Five, four, Three, two, one. Right, back to running on the spot. We're getting your heart rate up here, so keep driving those arms and engage your core. Try and land on the balls of your feet if you can. We've got 10 seconds left to go. Five, four, Three, two, one. Next up, butt kicks. Does what it says on the tin, really. Kick your feet out behind you so you're kicking your butt. Make sure you pick up your pace till it feels like you're jogging in place. Butt kicks are a great running drill for us and good at helping increase the speed of hamstring contractions that can help you run faster. Right, you've got 10 seconds left on this one. Five, four, Three, two, one. 30 more seconds of running on the spot. Keep your breathing as normal and steady as possible, but you should really start to be feeling warmed up by now. Ten more seconds of this one. Five, four, Three, two, one. Okay, straight into some high knees. We're focusing on getting your heart rate up here. You should be feeling quite warm by now. Come on, you can do a bit more effort than those walking high knees we started with. Really focus on engaging your core. Stay upright. That's it, drive those arms. 10 seconds left. Five, four, Three, two, one. 
Okay, now let's drop it back down a notch for your last effort of running on the spot. You've just got another 30 seconds here. Keep nice and upright, engage that core to stay tall. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, last warm up exercise here, 30 seconds of rope climbers. So this one's a bit like high knees, but you're gonna be reaching up with your opposite arm to your leg and pull your elbows back to your waist. That's it, really get those arms moving and get your blood circulating. You've got 10 seconds left on this one. Five, four, three, two, one. Great work. Now that you're nice and warm, we've got a circuit of six moves coming up. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We'll do three rounds with a 60 second rest between each round for a total of 20 minutes work. You ready? Right, skaters to squat jumps. They're a combination of a kind of side lunge and a squat jump. So start by lunging out to the right, then to the left, back to the middle to squat, jump and plant your feet back on the ground. Right, left, squat, jump. Right, left, squat, jump. Keep light on those toes. This one's a powerful plyometric exercise that's going to strengthen your entire lower body and get your heart rate up. You've got 10 seconds left here. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. 15 seconds to catch your breath here before Andy takes you through some mountain climbers. Drop into a press-up position, supporting your weight on your hands and toes, with your arms straight and your legs extended. Keeping your core engaged and your shoulders, hips and feet in a straight line, bring one knee towards your chest, then return it to the starting position. Repeat that movement with your other leg, then continue alternating legs throughout. You can do these quickly or slowly. Doing them quickly will get your heart pumping, but just make sure your form doesn't suffer when you start pushing the pace. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. 15 seconds here before we head into the next exercise, jumping lunges with Anna. Okay, the jumping lunge is an advanced variation of basic walking lunges, bumping up the intensity by adding that jump. So start with your standard forward lunge, lower until both knees are bent at a 90 degree angle, then push explosively off the ground and switch the position of your legs while you're in the air. As soon as you land, drop into another lunge with the opposite leg forwards, that's it. Plyometric transitions are great for runners because they strengthen muscles by rapidly stretching and then shortening them through jumping movements. Don't forget to really engage your core here. Okay, you've got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Right, over to Andy to lead you through this next one. After your 15 seconds of rest, you've got Russian twists. Good news, you can sit down for this one. Sit on the floor now with your knees bent. Lean back slightly and raise your legs off the floor, bent at the knees so your torso and thighs form a V-like shape and engage your core. You might want to cross one leg over the other while in this position. And while you're balancing here, twist your torso from side to side without moving your legs and keeping your core engaged to keep your back straight. Don't forget to breathe. 
don't let those feet touch the ground. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Back to Anna now for some single leg glute bridges. Yep, you can stay on the floor for this. Fly on your back and bend your knees so your feet rest flat on the floor for these single leg glute bridges. Raise one leg till it's stretched out straight if you can. Drive the heel of the foot that's still grounded into the floor and push your hips up until your body's in a straight line from your shoulders to the toes of your outstretched foot. Lower back down and repeat. We're gonna stick with the right leg for this round. Don't worry though, we're switching to the left for round two. You've got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Get ready for your last exercise of round one. Andy is taking you through some plank shoulder taps. Start in a press up position and make sure your hands are directly under your shoulders and your feet are in line with your hips. Keeping your hips as still as possible, lift one hand and tap it on the opposite shoulder, then repeat on the other side. Keep repeating this while still keeping your body as still as possible and squeezing your core tight. If you want to make it easier, you can just hold either high plank or regular plank instead. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. And rest. Great work, that's round one done. Now we go back to the start with those skater to jump squats after you've had a rest. 60 seconds here to get you ready for round two. Welcome back to round two. Feeling tired yet? Back to skater to squat jumps. So lunge out to the right, then to the left. Squat and jump. So now you know the moves. See if you can really pick up the pace a bit in this round. Stay light on those toes. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Awesome, rest now, and then it's those mountain climbers next. Get down into that press-up position again. Keep your core engaged. Your shoulders, hips and feet should be in a straight line. Push the pace a bit if you can, not long left. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, 
one, and rest. Nice work. Back to Anna next with some jumping lunges. Here we go then, jumping lunges. Really put the effort into this 45 seconds of work. Don't forget to engage your core and land nice and softly on those toes. Imagine you've got a neighbour downstairs you don't want to disturb. Mind you don't let that forward knee extend over your foot. We're aiming for a 90 degree angle here. Okay, you've got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Awesome work, everyone. 15 seconds and you're back to Russian twists. Yeah, you get a sit down. Great job so far, guys. You're halfway there. Keep it up. Keep your breathing nice and controlled and really focus on engaging your core. Exhale with each twist and inhale to return to the centre. Ten seconds left. Five. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Next up is those single leg glute bridges with Anna. Remember, you're doing the opposite side this time. Okay, back to the single leg glute bridge. We're on to the left leg for round two to help balance it out. The great thing about single leg glute bridges is they target all three of our glute muscles, so the maximus, medius, and minimus. You should really be feeling the burn in your glutes and hamstrings if you're doing this one right. Okay, you've got 10 seconds left now. Five, Four, three, two, one, and rest. Awesome, almost finished round two now. Here's your last exercise coming up. It's plank shoulder taps with Andy. Draw your shoulders down and back, don't hunch. Keep hips in line with shoulders so your body forms a long, straight line. Squeeze those legs and glutes for support. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, Two, one. Great job. Round two done. Into the final round of work. You're doing great. 60 seconds of rest here to get you ready for round three.
Right then, last round. Come on, you can do this. Last push now with these skater to squat jumps. You might be starting to feel the burn a bit now. Keep light on those toes. You've got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Great stuff. All done, no more of those. We've got mountain climbers next. Let's look to push the pace on this one a little bit the last set of mountain climbers now. Keep that core engaged throughout. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Great job, guys. Next up, jumping lunges with Anna. Last round of these jumping lunges now. 45 seconds. Come on, you can do it. Keep your torso upright and your chest nice and tall. Stay light on those feet. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Right, not long to go now. Next up, it's Russian twists. Not long to go now. Keep pushing on. Remember to keep your breathing under control here. Don't hold your breath. Focus on exhaling with each twist and inhale back to the centre. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. And as last exercise is coming up, we're going to be doing regular glute bridges with both legs. Right, glute bridge here. We've done single leg on both sides now, so this time, 45 seconds of regular glute bridges. So both feet planted on the floor. Squeeze your glute and abdominal muscles and lift those hips off the ground. Knees, hips and shoulders should all be in a straight line here. The bridge is great for improving hip mobility and ultimately your running form. 10 seconds left on this one. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Well done, great job. Last exercise coming up now, and Andy's taking you through those plank shoulder taps next.
Okay, time to focus on your form here. This is the last exercise. Don't let it slip now. Don't hunch those shoulders. Focus on staying as still as you can by really squeezing those legs and glutes for support. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, you're done, great job. Last bit from us coming up, the very important cool down. Grab some water and catch your breath and we'll see you for some static stretches. Hold the positions for 15 seconds at a time. The first stretch we're going to go into is the hip flexor stretch. Hold it there for 15 seconds. Now repeat on the other side with the other leg. Next, we're gonna stretch out the quads. Grab the top of your left foot behind you and gently pull your heel towards your left butt cheek to stretch the front of the thigh, keeping the knees touching. Hold in place for 15 seconds. Now switch to the other side. Okay, now let's stretch out the lower back. You can lie down for this one on your back with both feet out. Pull your right knee into your chest till you feel a stretch in your lower back. Hold this for 15 seconds. Now repeat with the left leg. Now pull both knees to your chest. It's a bit like you're giving yourself a little hug. And finally, the last one from me before your last stretch with Anna, let's stretch out the arms and chest. So stand up and grab one arm above your elbow with your opposite hand, pull it across your body towards your chest until you feel a stretch in your shoulder. Hold that for 15 seconds. Now repeat on the other side. Okay, last stretch now. Bring your right arm over your head and drop your forearm behind you, resting it on your back between your shoulder blades. And with your other hand, grab above your bent elbow and pull gently till you feel that stretch in your shoulder and the back of your arm. And repeat on the other side. And that is your cool down done. Great job. That's a brilliant all over body workout that you can save and come back to any time that you want. Why not try and fit it into your routine once a week if you can? We hope you've enjoyed working out with us today. Remember, being a great runner is more than just doing the running. So see if you can try and work this kind of bodyweight workout into your routine at least once a week. How did you find it? I am sweating. Found <laughs> that really, really tough. Let us know in the comments below how it was for you. Also, if there are any other workout videos you'd like to see us do. And we will see you next time on The Running Channel.